Willie D Live. What, what, what the haters talking about? Yeah. What's up, family? O.J. Simpson's FBI files have been released, and right off the bat. It is evident that the FBI went through excruciating lengths to examine the shoe print found at the murder scene. The feds dumped their records on the late OJ Friday, and there's dozens of documents within it, most of which pertain to the infamous 1994 murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, for which OJ was the prime suspect and put on trial only to be acquitted. As we all know, there was a shoe print left in the ground that matched a Bruno Mogli shoe. By the way, typically it's pronounced Mogli outside of Italy, but in Italian, when you put the G, L, and I together, it pronounces ye. So it's my ye. That is the correct pronunciation. But since I'm not in Italy and I'm out here in the good old U.S. of A., I'm pronouncing it Mogley. You dig what I'm saying? Bruno Mogley. Anyway, fam, yeah. yeah. I just look like this. I just look like this. But FBI agents did testify at the time of the trial, but the process of examining the shoe is now in full view due to the files being released. And you can tell that they dove in. I mean, they went there. The FBI compiled a comprehensive list of all Bruno Mogli shoes in the United States. And you can see they were dissecting shoe prints to compare what had been found at the murder site. In the end, the feds testified that OJ's shoe size matched the size of the shoe print found at the scene of the crime. And it was considered a major piece of evidence, a major piece of evidence that many thought would implicate OJ. But the jury didn't see it that way. They acquitted OJ. And that ran a whole lot of people hot. Even in death. Oh man, they talked about OJ like a dog. I mean, I didn't. I don't think I've ever heard them talk about Hitler like that. And Hitler killed millions. I don't think I've ever heard them talk about a U.S. president like that who are responsible for millions of deaths. Anyway, fam, I, I don't know. You know, maybe it's a football thing. Maybe they just didn't like football or something. But, ooh, they was going in on OJ. So, the glove didn't fit. They had to quit. The shoe didn't fit. They had to acquit. Well, I guess the shoe did fit, but they wasn't buying it. They said it matched OJ's shoe size, but they couldn't say that OJ had a shoe that actually matched the print. I mean, they couldn't say that one of his shoes was actually the shoe that caused the print at the scene of the crime. So anyway, fam, um, case closed. It is what it is. This is what I want to know, fam. How many of y'all think OJ did it? Give me a thumbs up if you think he did it. Thumbs down if you say, no way, man. OJ ain't did nothing like that. Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.